Hello. Today I'm going to share with you my journey to try to find a 1 to 11 gear ratio. A bit of a long and eventful journey. I'm trying to imply that also with this big picture of a lot of gears. Uh, just a warning, this is going to be mostly about code, not about Lego. It's going to be interesting, so you probably still might want to watch it. But, um, you know, I just put the picture of a bunch of gears as clickbait. But really it's going to be mostly code. So let's dive right in. Oops, wrong way. So basically I decided that I can maybe multiply, you know, a bunch of gears together by, by connecting, you know, two gears together and then connecting another two gears to them and another two gears. And I was sure that, you know, with all the different ratios that there are and different combinations that you might achieve, that we would find like a 1 to 11 ratio, you know? I thought even more if like there was like one, the first gear was, the first coupling was lower, like a reduction, then the other one was an increase, then, you know, I'm sure I could find one. Now, my first, op, my first um, method was to just literally go through each gear and compare every single gear with every single other gear and then compare every single one of those resulting combinations with every single one of those other resulting combinations. So, but I wanted to start obviously with one of three gears, which would be either the um, 28 tooth, many of the turntable gears. So my, my, my first set of drivers, in other words, gear that would be turning, would, was three, then 10 receivers. So that meant that there was 30 possible combinations. Now that's one coupling, you know, one pair of gears together. Now we connect a second coupling to the receiver, the driver of the second coupling to the receiver of the first coupling. And now, I can put any gear, I can match any, any of the 10 gears with each other, so that's 100 combinations. In other words, the second coupling itself only has 100 combinations, times 30 original couplings. We can match each one of those 100 with each one of those 30, that comes to 3,000. Next step is 300,000, and the next step is 30 million. So 300,000 doesn't take too long for the computer to compute, um, you know, like, you know, couple of seconds with 30,000 takes about five minutes so I ran it and biting my nails I don't really bite my nails but you know nervous and at the end I didn't come up with anything so I decided you know what let's go um, let's go ballistic right let's loop through five common up to five couplings and that is three billion different combinations. And by the way, it's, um, I don't remember, I don't, I don't remember how it was. it was. It took seven and a half hours to run that script. It was just like a, it was a plain script. There was no optimization, nothing. And it took seven and a half hours to run. And at the end, nothing. No one to 11 com uh, combination. So I decided to try adding in um, other gears because I saw, you know, I was going, I was on Bricklink and I saw like there's these really old gears and they were called Samsonite gears or something. So I decided to also throw those into the calculation. But also at the same time, I I've been doing this for a few days and, and just to begin with, I was like, I don't care how long it takes. Let me just run the calculation because I was sure I was going to find it. But I realized that I can't really do this anymore. I can't just run every single possible combination to... Um, to uh, to find the start exploring different options, it would just take too long, and I I mean I don't have the patience to do that. So I came up with a few um, so few optimizations. Number one, anytime a gear ratio a, a coupling had a one to one gear ratio, that doesn't help me, so I don't need it anymore. So every time I, you know, every one of these numbers, I could remove the ones with one, and right off the bat, you'd get um, you know, three of these wouldn't have it because three of these gears are the turntable gears that are here. So I don't plan to ever just match one to the other. I plan to try to get some ratio out of it. Um, so that was one thing that I wanted to remove. And another thing that I realized is there might be like duplicate ratios. So maybe I could, um, you know, get out a few, uh, make these numbers a little bit smaller um, in order to like uh, make have to compute less. I just had a brain freeze over there. Sorry. Um, also, I decided to use pandas. Originally, I, I wrote this all in Python. Originally, I just wrote regular Python. 
I decided to use pandas in order to kind of like it depends very visuals. It helps it helps out to keep track of where you are and what's going on, among its other um, great uh, you know attributes. So um, I wrote a pandas script to um, run and all the possible calculations. And actually, uh, you'll be surprised how many duplicates uh, duplicate ratios there were. So in, in this cell, we basically calculate the first two sets of couplings. So the first 30 couplings, but that's the initial driver, and then the next 100. So you obviously, so you're going to get 3,300. Uh, I'm not actually sure exactly why there's 3,300 here, but, um, oh, maybe there was 11 couplings. Okay, so it was 11, 11 gears because I added the 14. I was desperate already, you know. Um, so there's 3,300. By the way, spoiler alert, Samsonite didn't work, so I just got rid of them. I can add them later if I want, but for now, I, I'm, I didn't use them. I was going to buy them. I didn't have any anyway. Um, so 3,300 uh, possible different coupling combinations. In this cell, I say, well, let me take all those ratios, and if there's any duplicates, any, any time where there's the same ratio twice, I don't need it. I only need the uniques. And uh, basically, it is mostly duplicates. So now I'm left with only 382 unique ratios. And so when I make my, when I add another coupling on, so now I have three couplings in the gear train, that's why it's called gear train three. Um, then it's 100 times, actually, I'm not even sure if it's 100, because anyway, that number comes out different. But anyway, it's, it's it, you're not multiplying, you're not multiplying, um, 100 by 3300 by 300 by 100 or by by 110 now it's mu now you're multiplying 382 so you're only left with 42,000 possible combinations and that's again that's nothing for the computer to do and out of that 42,000 is there's only 1839 unique ratios and then again if you add another gear train you're left with um, 202,000 but again only 5600 um, unique possible uh, ratios. Now, I personally stopped for this project at adding five couplings, but you can go on. I, you know, to run this guy actually, um, to run these two guys takes like a few seconds. So let's run them now. Um, I just ran it. That took like what is that? Two seconds? I don't even know. This one is going to take a few more seconds to get all the uniques out of. Oh, how, how that didn't even take that long. So you can really go very far with this because it's not, it's. When you take out the uniques, duplicates, excuse me, it just makes it so much simpler, so much quicker. Um, again, I did not find um, the 1 to 11 ratio. Uh, you'll have to wait for the next video to see what happens uh, next. But what I did end up with is a very cool tool where you give me the ratio and I can see if it exists. And, and we can go up to, you know, 10, 20, I don't know, probably 20 different, I don't know, maybe 20 is too much. Also, there's so much backlash that you're probably going to lose the accuracy, but who cares? Um, so, actually, I'm willing to help anybody out. If anybody's looking for some weird ratio, you can actually, you know, message me on Instagram, and and I'll, you know, if, I'll help you. I'll, I'll, I'll try to find it and, um, and 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 show you which possible couplings you you, you you might need. You can tell me. You can also narrow it down. I can say, well, I don't, I don't have these gears, or I don't want to use those gears. You know, and then we can narrow it down, and and, and we can actually um, we can actually find any you need to achieve a ratio. We can find it. Um, and actually, I wrote this as an optimized. You know, make it a little bit easier over here. It's just a little bit cleaner to see. Um, you can you can select which which gears you want. I might I might one day actually make an application out of this because that's my day job as a coder. But it, it'll be a little complicated, so for now I'm just going to hold off and just if, if, if anybody needs it, I'll be happy to, you know, f try to find a gear combination or couplings or whatever you need, you know, ratio. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, uh, if you had the patience to watch until now. Um, and uh, there's more, so stay tuned.